Okay guys, welcome back to more Puppeteer. We're on part 7. We're on Act 3. I think we're gonna do Curtain 3 next. And now uh, let's go ahead and continue with this. Kutaro had proven slicker than the Kraken, winning back the Trident and helping the God of the Sea unpollute the water. Next on his hit list were Pig and Sheep, who had holed up in Crabclaw Cove. Now back to Kutaro's tale. Who needs catamarans or jet skis when you've got a ballistic squid? Kutaro had a new sense of purpose as he rocketed towards his enemy's stronghold, Crabclaw Cove. This hideout once belonged to Captain Gaff and his swarthy band of sea dogs. But just like his ship, it had been lost in the battle against the mighty Moby. The island's namesake, a claw-shaped rock at its peak, had just poked into view as Kutaro and Captain Gaff reunited for one last battle. And this time, the clincher was sure to be a pincher. Beloved hideaway, and how I missed her. Feast your deadlights on those smooth sands, those supple curves, those clammy crevasses. Look smart, me buckos! We're going in! Fine work, Kuzero! When it comes to impromptu boardings, I prefer a buxom wench. <laughs> All right, fishy, let's see you out swim the jolly lamb ham. Where are the long toms? Going to slip away, hey? Hold the depth charges! <laughs> if you want to sink that badly, Captain Gaff will gladly oblige. Release the charges! Zoinks! <laughs> Son of a biscuit eater! We're taking fire! Is Captain Airhead trying to blow us up too? Oh, get up, Kataro! We're about to sleep with the fishes! Kataro! I see you've powered up Calibrus, my sweet. Try cutting that! All right, here I we go. said stop gnashing your scissors. Snip once and time it right! Stop! See how Calibrus change color? Make another cut straight after to fly farther and faster than before. It's all in the timing. Snip, snip. Got it? Uh. Then see if you can reach me over here. What are you doing, you dunce? Relax and try again, darling. Yeah, not getting it. <laughs> you don't have to hurry. Try to cut slowly. What are you doing, you dunce? You don't explain it very well. I don't know what you want me to do. I still don't really get it. <laughs> yeah, I knew you had potential. Which is good, because the ship is going to sink! <laughs> You'd better find a way out! Meanwhile, I'll be catching some sun. Ta-ta! You just, like, rip. Gotta really wait, I guess. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Jolly Lamb was still lambasting our hero mercilessly. A dead end! But I bet we could slice through that sticky stuff.
literally like did the same thing. I don't understand. The whole of the Moby's interior was lined with a spaghetti-like tangle of pipes. Submarine was yellow, as all self respecting submarines should be. It was like a buttery yellow sunset as the age of turmoil melted away to reveal a far out, trippy era of peace where your grandmother darned your socks and you could knock on your neighbor's door without carrying a pepper spray. What the heck are you talking about? Guessing I missed something. Run out of time or something? I don't know. <laughs> well, Captain Gaff's salvos were doing quite a number on the Moby, outside and in. Does that knuckle even care if we're in here? turned into a deadly inferno. The engine was ready to blow at any moment, and if that didn't get to the run, the seawater flooding in certainly would. Ventilation. It's no use. We need to do it in the right order, or we're doomed. Ah. And now you be falling out of the sky! I marvel at your spontaneity. I'll marvel you, Tricorn Church! How could you wail on their ship like that when me and Kataro were still inside? <laughs> Watch! Ah, shit! 
Ah, this bodes ill, me hearties. Lady Luck has cheated old Captain Gaff. Why? What's the problem now? Crabclaw Cove be a nigh impenetrable fortress. The outer cliffs repel even the tallest ship, whilst the castle walls above deter the most able climber. And let's not even speak of the twisted trail that leads to the peak or the countless cannons to thwart our progress. Aye, we'll have a hard time extracting those scallywags now. Really? So we basically have no way of going after them. Ah, ha, ha. I said nigh impenetrable, but Captain Gaff knows the ins and outs of his oldest mistress. <laughs> Observe. Now that's a big gun. I calls him Long Tom. He can reach so far up the island, she won't know what air. Now we're talking. Let's unload on that beach like there's no tomorrow. Kudaro, this be a two-man job. Kindly assume the position. Kutura rocketed out of the cannon with a deafening roar and hurtled towards Crabclaw Cove at obscene speed. This is so not cool. Ah, Crabclaw Cove. The Crabs! Crabby Wabbies! The claw-shaped island was once home to a fearful band of a fearful oh, band so of crabby waddies and how oh, would you stop confusing me? A fearful band of pirates in the service of Captain Gaff. That was until General's pig and sheep moved in. Okay, I'm just like trying to find secrets. Um, okay. Oh, great. Kataro, Pecorina, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to steal back the Moonstone Shards from Agents Pig and Sheep. This message will self-destruct in... Ow! Heart! Huh. Smooth. No, God! What on the moon? Hey, check out the stump. Doesn't it look like an octopus? Yeah, I don't like have the right head for that. So, <laughs> so I will do that. your time as much as you can. Man, all these banana peels. Can't pig and sheep pick up after they eat? <laughs> Little did you know the banana peels were a trap. Oh my gosh, do you think? Good thing you warned us. The grey pipes plastered all over Crabclaw Cove's inner sanctum made it look like it was designed by some sort of wacko steampunk marine biologist. Welcome to Hotel World Domination. I guess this is where Pig and Sheep built their stuff. How did those klutzes do it? They didn't. 
You see, the Moonbear King had another general, one slightly more adroit when it came to matters of a technological nature. Say, but it was a rhetorical question. <laughs> <laughs> Heads up! Watch it! Whoa! Hey there, Spikey! Didn't we see your pals back on the pirate ship? Between the cannonballs, crumbling paths, heaps of swords, and falling powder kegs, the fortress of Crab Claw Cove had proven to be a tough wench to tame. Wasn't this Captain Gas's place? You'd think he'd have built an easier way in. That fall down. Slow going. Three, two, one. Robo Crab are go. Hey, wait up. Pig, sheep, do you copy? Enemy operatives have breached the CCC. Take Robocrab Mark 1 and eliminate them before it's too late. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, since when are they the good guys? Sorry, I sort of nerd out around robots. Okay, can we get on with it? Crab Claw Cove was where the generals had stashed their most amazing secret weapon yet. Kutaro was in for it. Yes! Weak point exposed! You know what to do! Our weak point! Sinistro Mecha Parapods damaged! Activate balancers! Roger! Activating balancers! Hey! Whose side are you on? Katara, take out the legs on the other side! Robo-Crab, engage flight mode before it's too late. Roger! Engage it, you don't play fair. Oh, that is so unfair. Fear not, Robo-Crab. You can still stop him with a tractor beam. Roger! Activating tractor beam! <laughs> We've got you now! Oh, no! What's the big idea? Nail him with one of your bombs! work out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I really make you have to like smash his button just to survive that tractor beam, whatever. You don't play fair. Oh, that is so unfair. Fear not, Robo Crab. You can still stop him with a tractor beam. Roger! Activating tractor beam! <laughs> We've got you now! Oh no! They're beating you up! Danger! Stay on him! I don't care if we have to drag Pig and Sheep out of the flaming wreckage! Someone was cutting through the thick plumes of smoke and closing in on Robo Crab fast! That's right! It was Kutaro, slashing furiously with a mighty calibrus! Distro bomb was expensive! <laughs> Give me a chance to what up that squiffy and claim the reward from itself. <laughs> I'll tear ye limb from limb. How did ye block that, ye squab? Beauty. Oh. Tis you that I wish to pluck tonight, oh. my amour. <laughs> and thus ends our tale of how the fetching moon witch and brave Captain Gaff found true love and lived happily ever after. The end. How dare you write an ending without me? This is my story. Curse you all. I'll teach you to make a fool of me. All of you. Especially you. Kutaro. I'll string you up if it's the last thing I do. It seems the Moon Bear King wasn't quite ready to live happily ever after. No, he still had lots of unhappiness to go round. Okay, well, maybe it's a short video, but I'll go ahead and end it here. Thanks for watching. Definitely appreciate it. And uh, we'll see what happens next time.